I'm reading um, the Walter Isaacson book on Steve Jobs, which I find, you know, absolutely riveting. Steve Jobs changed the world more than anyone else I can think of. He bridges the world of the counterculture in the 60s and the most successful elements of market capitalism. Um, and he's a great reminder, I think, of the impact of the 60s. You know, we're still in the world created by the 1960s. And this is a good reminder of, of how many positive things came out of the 60s um, and that people who who really um, moved to the beat of a different drummer um, actually did change things. Um, and we think of that nonconformity as kind of a joke, uh, a dead end, and it wasn't actually. I mean, it gave us feminism, it gave us environmentalism, it gave us the personal computer, it gave us a lot. And so one of the ways to read the book is as, a, uh, as, a, as an appreciation of an era that's been you know, heavily discredited. I think as far as a biography goes, it's a masterpiece. It's quite a fascinating life that Steve Jobs packed into his 58 years. Steve Jobs was a perfectionist and he was a visionary, but he was not in the game to win popularity contests.